Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury is a fight game that was created by SNK in 1991. From the man who created Kung Fu Master and the original Street Fighter comes Fatal Fury, a game that left a hefty legacy in the genre of 2D fighters. Almost every person who's a fan of the genre has heard of the franchise. I remember first playing this game at a restaurant and immediately left an impression. I mean, the game just had some sort of strange appeal to it. I mean, it was no Street Fighter 2, but it just looked cool and then I played it and let's just say that's where the infatuation stopped. Immediately when you start playing the game, the controls and the gameplay felt a bit clunky. It felt like the game moved kind of slow and executing the special moves was a bit difficult. Kind of similar to the original Street Fighter. It was a bit of a different fight dynamic compared to Street Fighter 2 where the gameplay and controls was fluid enough to execute combos. In contrast, Fatal Fury felt like you had to basically time everything just right. So when you got used to that dynamic or approach, then you pretty much got the gist of the game. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you couldn't approach Fatal Fury as you would approach Street Fighter 2, which looking back in retrospect, I kind of appreciate it. Strategically, it was a different kind of fight game, which they maintained in part 2 with improved controls and less clunkiness, but sort of evolved into a more of a combo based system as the series progressed. Adding to the strategy, Fatal Fury's unique key feature was giving the fighters the ability to move in and out or engage each other on two different planes. Another interesting aspect of the game was if a second player decided to join in, the game will make you co-op against the computer before you go head-to-head -to -head against each other. This is pretty cool. It's pretty original. The game also had a bonus arm wrestling match after every fight. In my opinion, I always like fight games that have bonus rounds. It was like a good way to break up the monotony and give the players a bit of a rest before the next series of matches. It's kind of a feature you don't see in more contemporary games, unfortunately. In this game, you can either choose Terry Bogard, his brother Andy, or their Thai fighting friend Joe Higashi to participate in a King of Fighters tournament organized by crime boss Geese Howard, who murdered the Bogart brothers' foster father 10 years prior. You have to fight your way through seven other fighters before your final showdown with Geese Howard. The game does feel a little plot driven as the story unravels as you progress through the game, slowly revealing the character's motivation for participating in the tournament, compared to Street Fighter 2 where the plot feels more like an afterthought. Side note, one of the more underappreciated aspects of Fatal Fury is how arcadey it sounds, and I know arcade is not a word, but it's the best way I can describe it. It's something that's rarely mentioned but the game did have a unique distinctive arcade sound. Even when watching videos of it or playing it on home ports, the sounds just screamed arcade. And as an arcade lover, it's just one of those things that I really admire about the game. The original Fatal Fury may not have been one of those games that have garnered a lot of attention in the arcades. In fact, I rarely saw anybody playing it. However, SK continued to produce and promote this title, and after a few sequels, spin-offs, building on the canon with mangas and animes, Fatal Fury became an immensely popular series sparking renewed interest of the original Original games. Fatal Fury was ported over to the Genesis and the SNES. It was included in the Fatal Fury Battle Archives Volume 1 for the PS2 and the SNK Classics Collection for the PS2, PSP, and the Wii. It is also available for download on the Wii and the Switch's Virtual Console as part of the Neo Geo Station lineup. So if you want to experience the beginning of a legendary franchise, I say play the game and let me know what you think.